Good morning to you, Lizzie. Good morning. Good morning. In fact, you owe your life, don't you, to a clinical trial? I do. I do, yes. So tell me what happened. Um, so I was diagnosed with um, leukemia in 2014. Um, and I had the standard treatment, which is chemotherapy, um, but I relapsed. And then there's another second uh, line of treatment, which is a bone marrow transplant, um, which I had and went into remission again. But um, again, after that, I relapsed. Um, and so at this point, they don't have any other standard treatment options that they could offer me. Um, and so they um, they gave me about two months to live um, or the option of going on a clinical trial, which I gladly accepted. And um, that's in the end is what was what kept me alive. Wow. I suppose if you've been given two months to live, there wasn't there wasn't really much of a choice or was there um for me no i i immediately just said yes anything anything that will help keep me alive but i can understand why some people would say no i've had enough um because the the chances of of it of it helping you and working for you are not it's not certain it might just um keep you in pain for longer i don't know some people might think that but for me i i just had to go for it and and try anything What's it like when you start taking part of it? I, I, I can't imagine for a start what it must have been like for you in the first place, having leukaemia, all of these bombs dropping on you at once, then being yeah. told you've got two months to live. Did, did that still make you apprehensive about the trial? Um, for me, no. Um, I, I can see um, sort of you've, you've been through like a horrible time and um, you've been through horrible treatment and it still hasn't worked. Um, and it's almost like it wasn't worth going through all that pain for no um, no results. But um, when, when, when I was told that I had two minutes left to live, um, it was obviously devastating. But when they told me that I could go on a clinical trial, um, it was just a little bit of hope that you just can grab onto and um and like start fighting again really yeah and that little bit of hope has has translated into you getting your life back where are you at now um i'm still in recovery at the moment um i'm every day just trying to get stronger get better um going back to work i've been increasing my hours just trying to get back to normal now really Oh, bless you. <laughs> Whatever normal is uh, for us now. Lizzie, the drug yeah. you took, what happened to it? I mean, it saved your life. Is it? Is it saving others? Um, if, I've just been uh, told this morning, actually, that, yeah, it's now part of um, normal NHS treatment. You can, it, it's used on patients um, in, in normal care now. So that's great news. How does that make you feel, that, that, that your drug is now used by others? <sighs> It's amazing. Um, I mean, it just it just goes to show how important clinical trials are, um, because they like they're finding the next the next treatments that that we need, um, and hopefully they're in the end they're going to find a cure for everyone. So, yeah, it's just amazing news. It is. I, I'm so glad you're popping out of the other side. Fingers crossed for the rest of the recovery. You're incredibly brave as well. All of that staring down a barrel you did, um, you, you deserve to be here. Lizzie, thank you very much indeed for that. We wish you well.